Oh yeah, we are back to the psychic workout, everybody. I'm Patrick, your psychic fitness trainer over here. Okay, we're gonna do some tarot card readings first here, but then we're gonna do a straight bar tricep extension to incline dumbbell curls, all right? But first things first, is I want to split the deck. Boom, that's right, I'm using comic book cards, y'all. I read everything, strong guy. Look at this, look at this. I feel like it's me looking in the mirror right now. Like, come on, strong guy, he's a mutant. You're psychic. Okay, mutant means change. That's all it really means, okay? Change, you're changing for the better. Now, when he went through his change, just like you guys, he, he felt beaten, disturbed. He was hit by a car. Hopefully no one here was hit by a car. If you were, I am so sorry. Let me know in the comments, but it changed you. It made you better. It made you something far more than you'll ever, ever, ever have known if it didn't happen. George Carlin said it best, I would never change anything that has happened to me in life because it has made me who I am. Now, you may have a little regrets, regrets and fears. That's okay, so does strong guy. So does Strong Guy. He, he goes head-to-head -head with the Hulk. He's an X-Force, X-Men. I'm sorry, I'm seeing the Deadpool movie. X-Force. X-Force. What's your name, Steve? <laughs> That's my favorite part of the movie right there. But you're the superhero. And you don't look like the, the usual superhero, the usual person, right? Look at those little legs and the big body. That's just not a comic book drawing. That is how he, he formed. His strength happened in his upper body. Again, if you know comic books, he goes head to head with Colossus and Juggernaut, things like that. But he's just a kid. He's like a, he's like a 13 year old kid. That's what makes him so special. That's what makes you so special. Your inner child, no matter what your age is, you have fun what you're doing. I'm seeing uh, in another deck of mine, the peace card, which is the two of swords, which is a decision making, okay? But in that card, there's a there's a, a, a fence, a chain link fence around a playground, and on top of it is barbed wire. You could look at that as like your prisoning kid. No, no, no. Peace. You protect your peace. That is your inner child. That is your fun, right? You just have to make the decision to, to literally block out these other people or know the right people to come into your life, okay? He didn't know the right people. He didn't know the people around him were truly, I guess in Harry Potter world, they call them muggles or in the X-Men world, they call them humans, right? We're all on the same team. Xavier says it best, even though I'm, I'm a Magneto fan too, and I get it because he was in World War II and there's, you know, but Xavier says it best. We all live on this planet together. We're all on the same side, the same team. Until we figure that out, I guess there will be a lot of conflicts. But we're getting there, don't worry. We are ascending into the new earth, the new world, all right? But he found out when his mutant abilities hit in, just like when your psychic abilities, your star seed abilities kick in, all your galactic friends, all the mediums, all the brouhaha's, which means witches and, and magicians and Harry Potters out there, right? Some of you have already known it. Maybe some of you were the ones doing it until your superpower kicked in. And then you realized, yes, your true self, as I just heard behind me, your true self. And then you really saw who your friends were. Someone's in the military too, and you, you thought you were in this brother, brother in arms, sister in arms, right? Until something happened, either you got out or something, and they all just disappeared, right, from your life. They disbanded you in a way, and you didn't do anything wrong. There's more to that story, but I'm just using, there's, it came to my head. Don't worry, you're gonna find your X-Force, and you're gonna have fun, Deadpool style, right? And who's Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds, that's the funniest, uh, sexiest, just just charismatic Canadian guy you, you, out there in the world, right? There's a lot of other things going on with his life that, yeah, it's not perfect, but he chose, just like you, you choose to be happy. Even when things aren't, aren't the best, you still choose to do the right thing, to be a good person, to help, like an X-Force, like an X-Men. I want to pull one more here. Hold on, I want to pull one more. I'm going to just do this. Hold on, I'm doing this. I put it all together. I'm going to split the deck again. Ooh, we have tempo in reverse. You know what's great about this? Look at this. Tempo's a speedster, right? And she's a super villain. Ooh, that's why it's in reverse. Yes, oh my goodness. That energy of yours, right? Which I don't put these in, I usually have them all upright, so that's interesting. That villain energy, those other people, what? They, at like speed, like, like flash speed, but not... The villains ran from your life, especially when you showed your strong self, your strong man right there. Boom. Right? 444 on the clock. Don't worry. They're going to, you repel them with your greatness, with your light, with your happiness. It used to attract these type of people, like Muhammad Ali, and then eventually they were like, nope, 
He's too strong. They're too confident. That's the key. You're too confident. Eve, with your strength, your new mutant power, your strength, all the villains leave you. Get away from you quickly. Right? They used to be like this, coming, all coming at you. But with this new ability, this new change in your life, whew, they disappeared. For, for that story I just said about some of the military, that probably is for just everyone. That's a good thing. You don't want them in your life at all. And with that said, let's lift some weights, people. So interesting, these cards are upside down and backwards and forwards. And I just pulled two Wolverine cards out of there. So that's claws to me are like swords in tarot. Communication. <laughs> Wolverine's <laughs> not the best communicator, but he is. You know when he's angry, he doesn't hide that. He's not passive aggressive, which you got to love. But you also got to look at someone like Hugh Jackman, who's a wonderful communicator in all aspects. That's why it took someone like Hugh Jackman to be Wolverine. The light is on. That specialness is inside. He's just as charismatic and funny as Ryan Reynolds. He's a theater actor. He's a musical actor. You have to be that glowing to be able to play a real mean character and have people like you. Not just because he's cool, but that's why. The light has to be on, right? Healing. You're healing, right? You're healing. You've actually healed instantaneously, but you're still carrying around that pain from the heartbreak, from the, from might be a spiritual wound from these people, you will ascend past that. Like Wolverine, you forgot who you truly are or were in past lifetimes. And you've been alive forever, just like, just like Logan, Wolverine, 200 plus years coming back, coming back, reincarnating, reincarnating. You're going to start remembering. It's not that your memory was taken. We just don't always remember when we get here, but you're starting to, and it's beautiful and glorious. That's two Canadians. Uh, well, not Hugh Jackman. He's Australian. Maybe, hey, Australians, what's going on? Uh, Canadians. Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. I believe Deadpool is Canadian. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, comic book fans. Wolverine is Canadian. So a lot of Canada energy here, y'all. About, I'm going to do a bad accent right now. Hockey, eh? About, they're all friendly. They're so much fun. Really nice people. I went to Alaska and Canada, and they just, they treated me like gold. They were so nice. It was freezing cold. Um... And they were really nice about hockey because I did not know how to play. I don't know how to ice skate, but they were—they showed me how. That's where we're going. That's who we really are in life, everybody. So, with that said, let's do this. Oh, 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 oh! You got the right stuff. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, more than that. One more, one more, one more. Get it. Uh, come on, Patrick. One more. Get it. Yeah. Last one, last one. Get it. Uh, we're not done yet. I just heard Etsy shop. So I'm wondering if you guys are thinking those are actual tarot cards, and they are. But they're comic book cards from 1990s when I collected as a kid. And I, I have a room full of comic books, comic book cards, sports cards. So maybe I will sell one of them. You know, we'll see. One more, come on, get it, yeah. Which is why I use them for tarot. You read what you know. Um, interesting how I see that as swords. And think of all, even Deadpool has a sword. And I have cards in there where he has them down and has them facing up. I have a silver samurai in there, he has his swords up. I have a Leonardo, uh, Ninja Turtles with two swords. That would be the two of swords. So there's so many things in those cards. Read what you know, if you wanna know tarot. Start with that. Be different. You're changing. Use your mutant ability. Yes, learn other cards if you want. But always remember, Thor, not the god of hammers, right? The god of thunder and lightning. The power is within us, within you. And knowing's half the battle. Yo, Joe. Okay. Okay. Can you guys see? I'm going to adjust that just a little bit. There you go. And again, I always keep it. I don't edit it because I think the golden life is in what we say are mistakes. There are no mistakes, right? You can't edit every formula. You can, and you do. And I'll teach that in another, another time. But until I actually get a video crew, this is how I'm going to do it. And it's great. And thank you all for tuning in. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's get these arms going. Now, I'm going much lighter here. 
mainly because the angle in which I'm curling adds way more pressure to my biceps. I used to not do these because it didn't make me look strong. And that's dumb because they're really super effective. Come on. Steve Reeves would do these a lot. Frank Zane, Lou Frigno. Arnold, I'm sure, did as well. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get it. No way, Patrick. Two more. Get it. Little swing. Come on. Come on. Get it. Yeah, and we will drop set this. I'll set these right in front. Whew. Strong guy right here. You know it. Come on. We're also changing our body. Come on. Let's go. We're just putting in the time. It's already happened. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. Two more. One more. One more. Yep. One more. One more. Get it up. Yeah. Woo -hoo. These arms will be burning tomorrow. I can feel that. Woo. That's it for us, y'all. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me at mcdaniel.pat at gmail.com. M-C-D-A-N-I-E-L dot pat, P-A-T, at gmail.com. And I'll follow up with uh, prices and things. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, y'all. Oh, my knee.